Hey family, look, I don't know if it's just me, but does it seem like when you pick up your cross and follow Jesus, you meet death? You know what I mean? When Jesus picked up his cross, right? Did he meet death? When the disciples followed him, what happened to them? They met death. John the Baptist himself actually was hung up upside down. So I heard a story today, family, and it breaks my heart that um, in Nigeria, 31 people lost their life, right? On Memorial Day, I don't know what the fuck that. Why they they celebrate Memorial Day in Nigeria? Because I don't have nothing to do with Nigeria. But you know how these many of these African uh, countries and shit they like to follow after Western states and here in the United States of America. So I'm saying to myself like, why the fuck are they um, observing Memorial Day in in Nigeria? But anyway, the story goes that 31 people lost their life right after attending uh, some kind of function where they was giving away free food. At a, a Nigerian church So you had 31 people who lost their life I'm sure many of them were Christians And the reason why I'm making this video Family is because simply this right How is it Possible That Jesus Christ No let me rephrase that When you baptize in Jesus name The only way you can be saved You have to be baptized in Jesus name So how are you saved When you go to a function at a church right it's a church function and you lose your life so at what point are you going to be safe are you going to be saved you know before you lose your life or are you going to be saved after you lose your life so in other words what they're saying is this right those who leave that's what the bible said now those who lose their life right shall save their life and those who save their life shall lose their life now how the fuck can you lose your life Right by saving it, you know what I'm saying. Or how is it that you can save your life by losing it? I mean, <laughs> if that shit ain't a slave doctrine, man, I don't know what is. You know what I mean? Because it sounds to me like what the white man have told the slaves is this, right? Don't worry about getting hung on trees, getting burned on logs, getting raped, castrated. You know what I'm saying? Get your dick cut off and give to a cave bitch as a souvenir. Don't worry about that. Just Worry about, you know what I'm saying, losing your life Because in the end, you will meet white Jesus in the end You know what I'm saying? Now, Jesus Christ himself He picked up his cross family And what happened to Jesus Christ? That motherfucker met death All his disciples that followed after Jesus Christ All his disciples met death So you telling me You are willing to take that chance In meeting Jesus Christ Right? But before you meet him, you have to meet death I don't know about you, but I'd rather just stay on this earth, right? Do what I got to do, live my life until the most I call me home. Take me out of this meat suit, you know what I mean? But again, the reason why I'm making this video, family, is simply because I'm saying, right? How is it possible as Christians, born again, baptized in Jesus' name, Christians, that you guys are losing your life? Like, it seems to me like the more... You worship this character that never existed now never existed is the more you will lose your life for me i'll fall back i will just worship the one most high power the creator of me you know what i'm saying there's no other god but the most high i've never met god you nigga never met god at the end of the day we just give all praise we follow all sets and commands the best of our ability and we just worship the unseen power because let me just tell you our secret in case you didn't know we are on a prison planet you see that dome when you look above and shit that 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 blue sky sometimes you see some clouds underneath that dome we are entrapped in this prison planet we are spiritual beings cast out from amongst the most high because we disobey the lost and commandment and even to the day we continue to disobey the most high lost and commandment by following after these fucking heathen Dealing with Christianity and shit Worshipping some white nigga named Jesus Christ That never existed and shit That tells you, right, not me But tells you to uh, honor No, what the motherfucker said He said, um, love your enemy Turn the other cheek You know what I'm saying He said in order to follow him you have to hate You hate your mother, your father, your sister, everybody You know what I mean, family So I'm just saying, right when are we going to wake up and realize that the white man God is not our God? The more we pray to the white man God, is the more destroyed we are. Because there are billions of Christians out there. And you're telling me you have billions, billions of Christians praying to this so-called Savior called Jesus the Christ. 
and the world is the way it is. You know what I'm saying? Instead of the world get better, it get, it get worse. So what exactly is going on? Could it be possible that we're calling down judgment, curses on upon ourselves? Because our ancestors, they didn't get it right. You know what I'm saying? They fought the same man doctrine and shit, following, you know, loving your enemy, turning the other cheek. But where did that get them? Nowhere. So are we going to continue, family? Are we going to continue to read this fucking Helio Bible, Sun book, the so-called Bible that was written by man? I don't care how much you Hebrew Christian try to say, oh, that is our book. That is not our book. It's a book written by man, by the Romans, right? That's the Council of Nicaea. And what they have done, they have interject our record, a part of our record in the book. But at the end of the day, you have the fucking heathen. You have the so-called white man reading from the same book. So how is that our book? You have the so-called white man worshiping and praising Jesus Christ. You have the so-called white man going to church with the slave back in slavery days, right? The slave master and the slave into, into the building, the church building. And I'm sure if I had to make an educated guess that the slave master... He prayed for more fucking cotton, more for, for more slave, and I could guarantee you the slave, the slave himself, probably prayed for freedom. Now at the end of service, right, when he walked out that motherfucking church, who prayed got answers by the so-called white man's God? It wasn't the slave; it was a slave master because the slave went right back into servitude. You know what I'm saying? Free, free labor. You know what I mean? So I want you to understand, family, that we have been deceived. By the fucking enemy Those pastors in church They're agents of the devil They're 501c3 agents of the devil And their job is to keep us in check You know what I'm saying To teach us the Bible The Bible that's actually enslaving us The Bible that's actually conditioning us How to speak How to act How to dress You know what I'm saying And we have to worship A motherfucker that never existed Called Jesus the Christ and how they say you have to worship him You have to have faith You have to believe that he died And he was resurrected On the motherfucking cross But when you read Acts 5.30 It tells you he was hung on a tree Now I do believe There was a prophet that was sent by the Most High To teach the law, statutes, and commandments to the, to, the, um, to the Hebrews That was, you know, that became Gentiles and shit, right? And this prophet was actually executed He was hung on a tree Acts 5.30 tells you that I do not believe, you know what I'm saying, in the JC and Jesus Christ, the Savior character that never existed, that he was hung on a cross. And also, Jesus also tell you, right, you have to eat of his body and drink of his blood. In the Old Testament family, do you know that the Most High forbid us to eat blood? So whether it be literal or fictitious, whatever you want to call it, right, figurative, well, I can't pronounce that word right now. But at the end of the day, family, guess what? You're not supposed to eat blood But Jesus Christ said in remembrance of him You have to eat of his body And drink of his blood Whether it be literally or, phys uh, or symbolically It's still against the most side Alright because life is in the blood Anyway family All praises be to the most high power The one and only power savior You know what I'm saying The, the power of the, or I should say the God Of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob All praises that's who I give reverence to I don't even worship God Because I don't know how I'm not going to read from a book That tells me how to worship God Because that shit was written by a man With that I say shalom